Detective Ned, what they set up. And Detective Senior Sergeant Todd Reed, T O D R E I D. T O D R E I D. Just the one D? Yes, yep. R E I D, yep. And Detective Superintendent Mark Ainsworth. A I N S W R T H. Yep. Detective Superintendent and Detective Senior Sergeant. That's right, yep. Thanks, fellas. Thank you. Here you go. Yeah. 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 Good morning, thank you. Detectives from the North Brisbane District Child Protection and Investigation Unit are investigating the death of a newborn infant female child at Bald Hills on Australia Day this year. Uh, on the 26th of January uh, this year, police were called to an address at Bald Hills after they received certain information. Uh, and as a result of their attendance, they searched the, uh, a, a premises and found a newborn uh, infant female child deceased in a domestic washing machine. Um, since that time, we established a major incident room at the Burndall Police Station and have been treating that matter as suspicious since uh, the first day and diligently investigating that crime. Um, we've recently received uh, the results of forensic testing, which have confirmed that the matter is suspicious. And um, we're now appealing for any information from the public, uh, people that might know, uh, the family involved, uh, no matter how insignificant the information might be or they might think it to be, but to com come forward and contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Thank you. Who called police? Who called police? Uh, the ambulance service. What was the official cause of death? Uh, we haven't received that as yet. Who called the ambulance? Uh, was it the public? Was it a, a tip-off? Uh, the ambulance was notified by a um, member of the family. Have you been able to identify the baby's mother? Yes. Has she any other children? Yes. Are you prepared to say how many? Uh, no, I, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. What is the status of the family? Are they cooperating with police or have they basically sort of shut down? No, at this stage in the investigation, the family are cooperating. Um, as uh, Todd has just explained, the, um, the investigation has been ongoing for some period of time, which has necessitated a lot of conversations with the family and other people. So at this stage, there is a level of cooperation. Obviously, legally, it's a very tough one to negotiate. What, what in particular would you like the public to come forward with? Information, seeing the family out and about, seeing the mother, her movements, things like that? Particularly what we're interested in is any, um, any person or any other family member of this particular family uh, work colleagues, friends, neighbours, uh, or anyone, uh, local shops that have um, seen um, this particular woman or a husband um, in the area prior to the 26th of January, um, or anyone that knows anything about um, the actual family, uh, the family situation, um, is what we're pretty interested in talking to at, at, the, at this point in time in the investigation. When you say newborn, are you able to narrow that down at all? Newborn, as in uh, only um, minutes, probably minutes old. Was the uh, still alive when the ambulance arrived? No. The, um, the, just getting back to your question there, when we say newborn, it was a, appeared to be a full-term baby, um, born at the residence, um, and then obviously um, certain things have happened after that birth. Did the mother ever seek hospital treatment? Did the mother ever seek hospital treatment? There was, yes. Can you say whether the baby had died before it was put in the washing machine or was without happening when she had it? Well, 
the investigation is still continuing along that along that lines, um, and that is a, a quite an important fact that we're trying to establish at this stage, with the assistance of um, toxicology and other scientific testing. Has the washing machine been used without being too graphic? Is it, you know, was it gone through a cycle without? It was a it was a normal washing machine you'd expect to find in any family house, a top end loader, not not the front end loader, a top end loader, and there was um, other items of. Um, Clothing and, and what have you in that particular machine. So did they count in water or? No, the baby was located in the machine, in uh, wrapped in an item. Do you, do you believe that the rest of the family knew uh, the woman was pregnant, or is this? Again, um, look, I apologise. We really can't comment too much on that, um, and that is forming a substantial part of the of investigation currently. Do they were residing in the home, and if so, were there any other people other than perhaps the woman and the husband that were living there at the time? Yes, there was a, a family, a whole family living in the residence uh, at the time. And the people who are helping you with your investigation at this stage? Amongst other people, that's correct. When you say a whole family, that was that um, a, a, woman, a couple and their children, or was it's there other extended family members? No, at that stage, a, a, um, just the family, the couple and their children. Are the children still with the mother and father? I'm sorry, we can't um, tell you that one. When you say that you're asking the public or people who've seen this one to come forward, what, what areas, obviously not the home, but what areas would people have seen or possibly seen this one? Is it local shops? It, and what are those shops? Local shops in the Bald Hills area, um, schools in that particular area. Um, there's members of the family and uh, associates of the family who have already provided us with statements, but we, we would appeal that even if they, uh, they may have had further information uh, as a result of our recent testing, we'd appreciate them to come forward again and, and, and revisit that with us, no matter how insignificant it might be. Are you going to be releasing a photo of the woman to help people at the shops and those sort of things know who we've already been talking about? Look, in due course that, that may occur, but currently there's, um, there's no photographs will be released at all because of um, obvious reasons. Um, but hopefully in due course something may occur along those lines. A description of the person? Well, again, it's, it's very, very difficult. Um, we probably can't provide too much along those lines at this time. And, and I guess her husband, are they <coughs> permanent residents, uh, recent immigrants, or are there any cultural issues at play here? They're permanent residents um, in Australia and have been for some, uh, some time. So do you have reason to think that as you appear to these people in the local area, do you have reason to think that they're going to understand the benefits of who this is? We're hoping so. Um, we're hoping so that the, the extended family, uh, the extended family may have friends, uh, colleagues, work colleagues of the, uh, the people involved. So we're hoping that will lead to uh, something coming forward. Um, and it is very difficult. I, I can understand the position these people are in, but it is very difficult and what we can say at this time. But our appeal really is is for anyone that, that may know of this family, know of the extended family, have been conversing with the extended family or work colleagues of these people, that may have some information. We're particularly interested if they could come forward and and contact uh, the Crime Stoppers or Burndall CPIU. And sorry, can I just get you to sort of explain again what what we're hoping to achieve is any information that can progress our investigation along, um, whether or not they knew of any uh, difficulties with the family, any difficulties with um, the woman, with the pregnancy stages of the woman, um, any history of the family, um, along those lines, um, whether or not um, this particular woman had confided in any friends or, or work colleagues or that in relation to a pregnancy. Uh, or relation to any issues at home. Um, that's basically what we're appealing for at this, at this time. Is the woman herself cooperating with police? Uh, at present, uh, we uh, have spoken with her uh, and um, she is uh, cooperating to a certain extent, yes. Is she still residing in the house? The oh, I can't say that at the moment. You said this is suspicious. Any what are you waiting for to determine whether this, I guess, is a murder investigation, whether these people become suspects? Well, it is, it is going down that line at the present time of a suspicious death, and as we said, as a result of the um, toxicology and scientific testing, um, we believe that it that does remain a suspicious death, and we're treating along that line. The major incident room is still in operation, and a number of investigations are still continuing at the present time. 
So it, it is being treated as a suspicious death. So a stillbirth is being ruled out? That's correct. Has the delay been going public with this? There's been no real delay uh, in going public. I can understand that some people may think there is, but um, as part of the investigation, we have to be pretty certain that that there is anything suspicious involved. I think we've, uh, in this stage of the investigation, we've probably reached that um, suspicion, and uh, hence the need to come forward at this particular time. Uh, as you can understand, the scientific testing and toxicology, um, the turnaround time for that uh, isn't like what we see on CSI or on TV. There is some time involved in that, and that has recently come back, which has resulted in the um, our suspicions being increased and being treated as a suspicious death at this time. So what are these tests showing exactly that it's then changed the situation? Is it showing that in fact the baby was born alive and well and has then passed away? Is that what you're relying on? To That's what we're relying on along those lines and time frames. Um, Can you elaborate at all on the sorts of scientific tests that were done? Well, the I can't go into too much apart to say from toxicology tests and um, examinations which are done um, by the uh, John Tong Centre and uh, those examinations are their standard sort of tests are done in any suspicious death or deceased events. Um, so, you know, you know, you know, put through a, a washing cycle and all, you said it was found in the, you know, the washing machine inside clothes, but was it actually put through a cycle? We don't believe so. What was the baby wrapped in, can you tell us please? The baby was wrapped in an item of clothing uh, from the residence. Was it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. You have been able to establish a cause of death, or that's still yet to come? It's still yet to come. Can you give us an approximate age of the mother? Uh, she's in her mid 30s. You said that the work, people that have worked to come forward, I imagine you would have gone to work and visited their work friends. Has that not been cooperating? Or? No, we have taken a number of statements from people known to the family, and a part of the appeal today would be uh, to make sure that if there's something that they felt they weren't. You know, completely uh, uh, telling us the complete story when, when we when we've spoken with them, just to stress the importance that uh, we would like them to come forward again if possible. Have the family told people <coughs> they were pregnant? That, well, that's part of the inquiry. Is is that um, uh, the the mother has denied that she was pregnant. Uh, so part of that would be if she has revealed that information to a a colleague or friend and confided in them, we'd be asking those people to come forward and share that with us. Can you tell us what, um, what industry the mother worked in? Not where she worked, but just the, the type of industry? No, I'm sorry. Did she deny to you, is that what you said, sorry, that she denied to you she was pregnant? So yeah. far, yes. Can you test to see if she was? That's being done. So is she claiming not to be the mother? At the moment, she's saying that she didn't know that she was pregnant. I didn't know. Correct. The test proof she was pregnant, so obviously I'll test with her. That's been done. Yeah. And that's proof that she was. We don't have the results yet. Yeah. How far away are those results? I can't say. say. Yeah. Um, Is it fair to say you're not looking for anyone else in relation to this baby's death? You've focused on this particular mother and her husband? At, at this period of time, it's being treated as a suspicious death. Um, a number of avenues of inquiry are continuing and are taking place. So. Um, we're not focusing on any particular individual at this time. It is an open investigation, and all, all um, avenues of the investigation are being conducted to ensure yeah, that... Have you done DNA tests on the baby or her family? Is her? We, probably, um, we probably can't talk too much further about it. That's, that's the crux of what we've got at this time. And look, I apologise, it, it, it does sound reasonably vague, but the main thing today is just the, the appeal for any assistance to come forward. Um, obviously, in due course, as the pro uh, investigation progresses, there will be further um, media releases and with further updates. Um, so, unfortunately, that's about all we can we can say at the present time. There are other children. Are you able just to narrow down how old? Like, are they all under ten, or are they under <coughs> five? Like, just to paint a picture of how many kids, it might help people in the shops. Yeah, look, it probably could, but unfortunately, we're just in a position where we can't divulge that information currently. Um, Again, we, we, we can't divulge it, I'm sorry. This must be a very frustrating um, it's investigation for police. The thing with this, with these sort of jobs, um, emergency services personnel attend these jobs. You've got uh, people at hospitals that, that have become involved in this matter and, and the family alone and relatives and friends and neighbours. It's a particularly um, stressful time for a lot of people, as you can well and truly understand. Um, so we, uh, we've just been continuing an investigation in a professional manner. And, um, and going from there.
So. And how many okay. detectives and police are working on the case? Just numbers? That's, uh, that's probably about all we can say at the present time, okay? You might want to pick my confused whether we understand whether it is the, the mother and baby are connected or is that still yet to be official? Yeah, so the mother and baby are connected. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, so the mother and baby are connected. Yeah, so the mother and baby are connected. Yeah, so the mother and baby are connected. Yeah, so the mother and baby any motives? Can't answer that, I'm sorry, at this stage. Um, the investigation's ongoing. I'm sorry, this might be going a bit too far. You said she's the baby's only assault and things like that. Are things like that being recorded still attached? Can't comment on that at this stage. Do you want to just give your names and works? Yep. Uh, Detective Senior Sergeant Todd Reid, T O D R E I D, from North Brisbane CPIU. Detective Superintendent Mark Ainsworth, Regional Crime Coordinator, Metro North Region.